Well, I'm here at the Beyond HD stand here at BV 2016. This is the first of three. Yes, you heard it right. Three videos that we're doing here this year. They've got so much to show. Uh, I've got Keith Harding with me. Hi, Keith. Hi, nice to see you again. Yeah, and you. And um, well, first of all, let's talk about UAVs. Um, you have a beauty here. Tell us about this. Yeah, so this is this is actually our third year at BVE showing what looks like it's the same drone, but in actual fact, this is now the Mark II of the aircraft. A um, number of uh, big advantages in terms of the flight time. So we've gone from sort of six or seven minutes up to around about 15 minutes with this aircraft. And that's with a full payload. So that's with the, the concept that we have with all our equipment is whatever the camera and lens that the DOP wants, yep. we can take on any of our equipment. There's no sacrificing uh, of, uh, of the equipment on that. So even with a full payload of uh, an anamorphic lens or whatever, we can still fly this aircraft uh, at that sort of height. So uh, it's, 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 it's a nice beast. It's quite amazing to be able to carry that sort of weight for that sort of time and it's just not no one's doing it this is just amazing no exactly i mean to be honest with you you know if there was a way that i could do this without having to spend sixty thousand uh, on an aircraft yeah. and i could do it for 10 i'd do it that yeah. way but after three years yeah. this is now our fifth aircraft that we've we, we bought in this series yeah. we're free to buy any aircraft we want yeah. this is still the best there is just nothing out there yeah. to touch it and that's why we have to keep on spending out sixty thousand dollars on the aircraft uh, but you know if you want to take this sort of payload up yeah. with redundancy I mean that's the other important thing now you know we spend a lot of time now talking with productions with studios yeah. about safety because there's unfortunately a number of things that happen in the drone industry yeah. which which generate headlines yeah. uh, and and part of the problem is that it's very difficult to regulate because just because you see in a, an operator's manual the drone says it can lift six kilos there's nothing to validate how they've come up with that number. Yeah. So what we have is a system we, we take up, we've tested this with up to eight kilos uh, on yeah. the aircraft, and we've failed two motors on the same arm right. and been able to board it into land. Yeah. So the whole safety thing is becoming more and more critical. You know, everyone knows what drones can do. Three yeah. years ago, we were trying to explain what drones could do. Yeah. Everybody knows that yeah. now. Now what they want to do is how can we do it safely? Yeah. How can we do it with the payload? And this is where this aircraft comes into its own. And uh, I mean, I've seen your previous versions of this aircraft, and it is the fact that you can, you've got ability to take the cameras off and on these easy as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. And I think you know, as as as, as we talk about the other products in the range, etc., the important thing for us is that whether we're flying it on our manned air, uh, gyrocopter, whether we've got it on a Porsche Cayenne, whether we've got it on our quad bike, the camera can come off and go to on all of these. So the camera lens package is the same one that we use. So we can real multi-purpose the, 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 the equipment we've got. And rather than going out on a day's filming with a drone, we can now go out with a day's filming, taking our Porsche Cayenne with a gyrocopter, with the drone and say, OK, this is the kit. What do you want? A bit like the way a, a, a grip van will turn up. Yeah. You know, you go to the grip van, you get the bit of kit you want, and you pay for that bit of kit as you need it. We can now turn up with a complete production suite uh, to, to be able to film on those things. So it's quite exciting. Keith, that's great. Now, we're going to obviously look at the other areas that you guys work in and the other kit you've got. Yeah. But if people want to find out more information about this UAV, what's the website they can go to? So it's www.beyondhd.tv. Keith, thank you very much. Go and have a look at the website. It is an amazing system. You should well go and have a look at it. Uh, everything is on their website. There's the link just popped up on screen. And don't forget to check out their other two videos that we've done here at BVE 2016.